Wait, an extra video? You probably didn't expect this, and neither did I. This is an update video for something discussed in part 5 of this tutorial series, the mystery of Mosley Cookie Speed Boosts has been fully solved. In part 5, I presented one of the many unknowns of this game, which is the additional speed gained when collecting Mosley cookies. For reasons unknown at the time, some always applied the extra speed, some never did, some did but were delayed, and others only did when riding over surfaces that increase your speed. However, some time after publishing that video, I noticed something odd, in part 5 of Insetic's second playthrough. As you can see, while showing off this trick line, he collects a Mosley cookie while grinding, and he does not get the additional speed. Okay, wow. that, rem that reminds me, but uh, instead of you had something else to say. Uh, just the coolness of an alternate path is based on does it have a mostly cookie for you to oh, like, okay. <laughs> like that? That's <laughs> oh shit! Rails counters surfaces that increase your speed, yet he did not get the additional speed boost. This immediately piqued my interest, and then a thought crossed my mind: what if it had something to do with object properties? In part four. I showed that the cockboxed glitch spawned a non-existent object by using the game's built-in debugging tools. It's time to use those again, but a different option I didn't show off last time. This option here lets you replace the game's normal textures with colors, each one being a property with set effects. Some obvious ones seen here are gray for snow and green for buildings, which also applies to any surface that makes you bounce when you touch it like this rock surface in Machu Picchu. What I found was that the Mosley cookies only apply the extra speed if you start touching an object with a different property after you collect it. This is a poor explanation, so here's some examples. This first Mosley cookie is right at the start of San Francisco, with the gray snow property and a small patch of green ramp property. First, I start by riding on the gray snow property, then I'll collect the Mosley cookie and jump over the green ramp property, and land on another patch of grey snow property. As you can see, I did not get any additional speed. Now I'll do the same thing, but I'll very briefly touch the green ramp property before jumping. Because I touched a different property after collecting the Mosley cookie, I now get the additional speed. This works on every Mosley cook in the entire game. Here's another example later in San Francisco, the one I used as an example when showcasing the ones that require riding over a surface that makes you go faster. Here, it's more obvious. I start by riding on the gray snow property, then fall onto another patch of gray snow property. No additional speed gain. Now, I'll start riding on the gray snow property then start riding on the blue speed up property. Like before, I get the additional speed as soon as I start riding on a different property. For this next example, I head to Washington DC, start riding on the green ramp property, and continue staying on it after collecting the Mosley cookie. As expected, no speed gain. I'll do the same thing again, but I'll start riding on gray snow property after collecting the Mosley cookie on the green ramp property. Like clockwork, the additional speed is applied. Here's a few more examples to show it really does follow this logic everywhere.
it's safe to say this hypothetical is now solved, but the other ones still remain. As for how I can use this better, that'll take some work, but at least it's known what exactly is going on. The next video will be the real final part, no more extra videos.